feel like you guys are seeing me wear the same clothes a lot lately. <laughs> and uh, to be honest, it's because it's kind of true. I've been uh, on top of my laundry and I keep reaching my, for this hoodie right now, It's I, I just like it. And I've been wearing this hat a lot since I bought it. Incidentally, I got this at Canadian Tire. They had them on sale for $10. It's a handmade hat made in Nepal. And I guess they sell them there sometimes. And these are on sale because it's, you know, season's coming to a close here in this area anyway. Anyway, um, this video here is going to be build series, like the build episode number six in the build series. And uh, to be straight up front with you, there's not a lot of build stuff in this video. Um, there's a real touching, this is a special video because um, at this stage of my life, I'm going through a real difficult transition and I'm kind of still sort of involved in it today. But um, anyway, I've been, I was, you know, I was working around the clock, I was burning the candle at both ends. I was working day shift, night shift, day shift, night shift, day shift, night shift. And I was just kind of like napping when I could. And anyway, I woke up, I was pretty burned out and I'm just starting the day off with a cup of coffee and I'm just sharing, you know, sharing, sharing some truth and uh, where I was at and a lot of it I think is relevant to um, not just my life and transitions moving into the van and you know adjusting to that but I think it's it's also something that you know anyone who's living in a vehicle might be able to relate to some of this stuff maybe not but um, maybe you will so I thought it's worth sharing even though this is an old sort of coffee talk um, but this is making up the bulk of this video in this episode. And then there's some stuff that I'm doing in later in the part of the, the video where it's going to be uh, closing up some holes and stuff like that and talking about preliminary stuff for the heater um, installation, which is going to be coming up. And that's that's pretty much it. That makes up this video. The video that's coming out after this is loaded. It's loaded with stuff for the van. But this one is just pretty important. It's, it's, you know, I, I feel it's important. It's a nice touching conversation and coffee down on the beach. It was uh, down at Spanish Banks, which that's yeah, not a thing anymore, but it was kind of fun when I was able to do that. So anyway, guys, um, build episode number six. Here you go. Great looking day out there. So last night, you know, I had Ann W. It was really delicious, actually, that meatless whatever burger that they had. Um, that was pretty satisfying. It was also the end of a really long day. Um, maybe that's why it tasted good, but... Anyway. <clears throat> On an emotional level, I'm... Um, allowing myself to kind of have, you know, a little bit of junk food from time to time. And it's, uh, you know, it, I know it's not healthy, but at the same time, it's just kind of a convenience thing. And I find there's, there's almost an emotional payoff with it as well. And I know that, you know, there can be emotional eating or that sort of thing. And, and, whatnot and I know that it's really not great food for me for one like I'm really passionate about foraging and stuff like that or at least I used to be really into that and I, I kind of imagine that I want to get back into that but I've been on such this recovery train 
uh, emotionally and just, you know, physically going through lots of changes. I'm living in a van now. I used to live in a really nice house. Um, not to say that I was ever well off, but... I mean, financially, things are pretty tight at the moment, but... Anyway... I guess what I'm getting at is... I feel like it's okay for the time being that I'm doing this kind of thing. At least until I get this home space of mine sorted out and I can kind of really just relax into this lifestyle a bit more. Um, I'm feeling fine at night and stuff like that. Like, I'm not uncomfortable living this way uh, in a vehicle. Um, I mean, there's occasions where I'm kind of like, oh, you know, I feel like that person's judging me or looking at me. And yesterday I woke up and I felt like um, I just had this this kind of sense of feeling poor. Um, there was a woman parked beside me in a brand new Tesla Model X and it had a custom license plate on it. It said dream uh, and then a number after it like eight or something dream eight or something and uh she was this tall um you know really beautiful looking woman uh just leaning up against her car and enjoying the morning and i, I think she had her dog with her or something like that and uh it made me think about how i had these dreams too about you know being wealthy enough to spend money like that on a vehicle and just sort of relax in, in, in that capacity. Um, that made me sort of feel like, oh, you know, I, did I make some mistakes? Am I missing out on that? Or should I feel bad about myself for not being in that position? And then it sort of made me go like, man, I, I haven't really bought myself new clothes in a while. i um, been buying a bunch of car stuff lately and I bought that <clears throat> new tripod so I can make these videos. Uh, and of course this, this new phone too. So I've been spending some money on, you know, getting myself sorted out here. Which feels nice. And I'm not making a lot right now because I'm uh, trying to sort this whole thing out too at the same time. I'm feeling tired, man. I'm feeling really drained. It's a season though. It's a season. This is going to pass like all things do. Anyway, I got a vision for this van um, and this, this next phase of my life and that's to get this kind of built out um, and relax into it and, and, and work and get back into a, a good, you know, um, solid, body practice of some kind um right now i'm thinking that's probably going to involve a a little bit of a going back into yoga um going to a physiotherapist and uh working with them on very specific modalities and and uh, exercises to bring balance back into the body um probably a fitness coach third one um getting back into doing uh, more of a gym routine and these things all involve like more sort of mm, acute exercises i suppose as opposed to aerobic exercises on the aerobic side for the winter um i'm not sure yet what that's going to look like uh like i don't ski or do anything like that I could go swimming, I could go run a treadmill or something. Um, I do uh, like the idea of rucking with heavy weight, um, but now it's feeling like 
you know, it's hunting season and then the snow's going to be on the ground and that's going to be a challenge and all that sort of stuff. But I, I'm not sure what the aerobic exercise component's going to look like for the winter. But maybe it's not going to be very much. Uh, it might just be a little bit. Maybe I could run like these guys are and just run along the seawall here. Although I'm a big dude and running just feels uh, cumbersome. <laughs> Cumbersome runner. <laughs> anyway, I'll get my fitness back. Get my life in order. I haven't done much podcast listening lately either, so. I kind of got a disorganized approach with that at the moment. (sighs) Nasty. My cooler smells funky. Like there's a dead fish in it. sort that out at the studio. I'm done with coffee. I'm ready to get going. I'm going to start the van um, and uh, go get the silicone job done and then I'm going to pick up plywood and head downtown and throw you guys back on the camera and do a van build stuff. Ciao for now. Yo! Okay, finally got around to doing some work. Um, So... That being said, there's quite a bit to do, and uh, not a lot of time to do it in. So, I'm gonna get to it. So what I'm gonna do is insulate the, uh, insulate this last wheel well, right here. So I'm gonna finish this with this foam stuff and get it all glued and taped on. Um, then I'm gonna take these out, take it out right now, in fact. And I'm gonna build, it's gonna be a bit gross and dirty. There we go. Build a cover for this uh, hole and the one that's right here. And that's probably about all I have planned for today, unfortunately, because there's a slight change in plans. Um, my daughter, so we'll cover that one up there too. My daughter needs a uh, needs babysitter tonight. Uh, the one that we had fell through. So that means I'm only here for probably uh, two and a half hours. I got the most of this whole thing done. Uh, I'm gonna finish it up. I'm probably gonna buy another roll of this red tape. Uh, just to use and I'm running out of it Um, so I'm excited I got a really um, I got an idea for the heater so with the removal of the heater that I had in here which was the car heater in the back as well as the AC there's this hole this was this hole here is for the AC system and this goes straight down into the void of everything outside and what I was going to do is cover this up with a piece of sheet metal and I'm not going to do that anymore Uh, instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a box right here um, that's going to be all metal and it's going to come all the way up to about here so a metal box if you will and I'm going to bolt and seal the whole thing down to this floor with a permanent sealant and um, the top of the box, I'm going to have a little opening on the side that I can take a bunch of screws out and have a gasket on it. And I can service the hose clamps that will clamp on the bottom side of the heater. So the actual 
bottom of the heater is going to sit here and the exhaust ports are going to go from here all the way down because I can't actually fit it right against there. It's got to be up elevated somewhere. So it's going to fit right there. So I'm going to have the fuel line, the intake, uh, combustion air, and then the, the exhaust all going right through here. This, I've decided I'm going to seal this side all up and it's going to be all insulated in here. Um, cabinet's going to get all built around the entire heater, but I'll be able to get to the heater if I need to service it or work on it or anything like that. Um, and I'll probably do the the, vent, the heat vent that, that'll come in and give supply hot air to the fan, come right up about here or somewhere up in here and blow air in this way. And then the um, the other side of it's going to kind of be in here and I'll, of course I'll probably put a few holes or something in the side of the cabinet so it can draw some fresh air from in the vehicle and run it through the heater. The fuel tank, I'm going to put all the way on the other side of the vehicle. So <clears throat> heater's going to go there and the fuel tank's going to go right over there by that side of the sliding door. So I'll show you what I mean. <clears throat> First of all, when that sliding door is closed, I'm gonna be pulling up to the gas station and I fill up my gasoline right here. When I'm done that, if I need to fill up the heater, I'll open up the sliding door and I'm gonna have the fuel tank right here. So I'm gonna build a little compartment like that. There's gonna be a galley that comes all the way forward like this. Um, and I'll, I can just take the pump and basically stick it right in and pump it right into the tank as it is there. That means I'm going to be drilling a hole in the floor right here for the fuel line to go out. And then underneath the van is where the fuel pump's going to be, um, all that other stuff. There's probably going to be wiring that needs to go to the fuel pump. So that's going to play into the battery that I end up getting um, and uh, wiring, wiring that all in. So I'll figure all that out once I get it, but I'm pretty sure at that point I'm going to order that heater tonight. Um, and then once I got it, then I'm going to work on that box back there. Now I've got a tube of permanent sealant and I'm really tempted just to crack it and do the front floor over there, but I, I'm going to think about that. Um, kind of worried about cracking those things because once you crack them, sometimes they, the whole tube ends up hardening up. Um, but it would be nice to close that front area in and just kind of complete the insulation on that real well. I think I'm going to do it. I'm just going to take a chance. The tubes are 20 bucks, so if I have to buy another tube, worst case scenario, then I have to buy another tube. There's the heater. There's the one I'm going to get. And I got right there. Okay. So this is the hole that was for the coolant um, that came from the engine and that went all the way up over the wheel well to the back heater core. So that was removed and this is the hole that is in there. And there's a little standoff right there and another one right there. So what I did, and this folds back here, what I did is I took a profile of, with cardboard of this shape and uh, marked the holes and I made that piece into aluminum. So this quarter inch thick aluminum, what I'm gonna do is that's gonna go right down over all this and go right on to those two screw heads and get bolted down. So what I'm going to do is apply sealant all around here, all around here, and then bolt that down in place and then put sealant over the top of it. And that's going to cover up the hole. So what I've got is a <clears throat> marine grade sealant here. Um, this is what I picked up at uh, I think it was Triton and Squamish. So I'll go ahead and put that on there. That's all been prepped with alcohol and whatnot. So it's uh, it's ready to go. I'm putting a generous amount of this on there. It's never coming off.
That'll be enough to hold that in there nicely. I screwed up a little bit, so basically what happened was I didn't have the other M6 nut and I don't have any, so I'm just using an M6 roof nut backwards shredded on there for now, and that's just holding it in place. So that'll be enough while all this sets up. I'm gonna throw some more goop back in there. And for anything else, just a little bit of peace of mind. Okay, so there it is. That'll get set in place and then that's not gonna move. Once that's all cured up, I'll insulate in this little patch down here and uh, move on to the next step. So hopefully it doesn't take too long to uh, get a skin on it. All right, um, that was that. I uh, hope you guys really liked that video. That was, um, that was kind of special for me to share that. There was, uh, there was actually a whole lot more conversation that actually took place that morning and uh, got all the footage for it, but I just couldn't put it in this video. It was way too much. I sat there for probably two hours that morning just talking to the camera. And uh, anyway, I just, I, I, I shared this part of it with you. And uh, maybe I'll save the other part parts of it for, uh, you know, when the time comes for me to set up YouTube memberships or something like that, I might I might share some of that content for for uh, for the YouTube members and stuff like that on the channel. Or if I set up a Patreon, maybe maybe I'll share it there. Um, and around those two subjects, uh, I didn't really mean to get into that right now, but around those two things, um, I'm looking into it. It hasn't been a priority otherwise. I would have had all that stuff set up right now. Um, Frankly, I'm 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 really more interested in in getting these videos rolling out a little faster and learning out learning the editing process, uh, learning how to streamline it and become more efficient at it, and uh, that kind of thing. Um, but uh, I will set that stuff up. You guys have been asking about it, and uh, maybe I forget. I feel like there's something else around that whole thing, but it's not coming to me right now. Um, anyway, it doesn't really, really matter right now anyway. So, um, I'll share, I'll share that stuff as, as I dive into that a bit more. I actually have a meeting with Patreon, uh, on Tuesday. They're doing a, it's a demo meeting. So anyway, I, they sent me an email invite and I'm, I'm, I'm going to go, go check that out. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> anyway, guys, um, Thanks for watching, and um, I'll try to um, do a video here shortly that's going to be more today, present day stuff, and um, maybe I'll try and do a couple of those, but at the same time, I really want to get these build videos out there because it's old footage, and I feel like I kind of want to catch everything up to today and really work from, you know, the vantage point of what I'm doing in the last week and stuff like that. Um, and, and I'm hoping that I can have everything caught up by the springtime uh, because that's when I'm going to be full on getting into foraging for uh, for wild foods and stuff like that. And I'm definitely going to be doing that this year. Um, and uh, I want to share share a lot of that with you guys. So anyway, hopefully we can catch everything up by then. I don't know if that's going to happen, but it'd be nice. <laughs> it'd be nice. Anyway, you guys, uh, thanks. Thanks. I'm kind of rambling on here right now, but thanks. Thanks for watching. And uh, um, I hope you're, you know, you're all doing well wherever you are and uh, and uh, you're hanging in there. I know it's a tough time. Man, it's a weird time in this world. Okay. Signing off. See you guys.